This year, which is the message, the main message in the final concluding remarks uh, of Banca d'Italia. Uh, it seems to me that there is a connection mentioned. We have to increase the aggregate demands. Overall, which are the problems for the Italian economy and for uh, Europe at large? Essentially, we have two macroeconomic problems. On one side, we have to increase the output growth. On the other side, we have to avoid the risks of deflation. Which kind of policies we can design and implement? In general, we know that there are two kinds of policies. On one side, the aggregate demands policies. On the other side, the aggregate supplies policies. Now, the central bank, the Italian central bank, recognizes the importance of the aggregate supply policies, but point out also that the effects of this kind of policies usually are in the medium longer term. So, Today, in the short run, it's quite important to implement aggregate demand policies on two sides. On one side, the policy in terms of the monetary actions, the Italian Central Bank is a part of the European system of central banks and we know the stance of the European monetary policies, a really expansionary one, and the governor follow to stress that this expansionary stance will, will follow. But it's also important from a national point of view to increase the fiscal policy stance, increasing the spending, increasing the role of infrastructure, taking into account, in any case, our national problem high debt. So we have to increase the public expenditures taking into account the level of debt. At the end of the day, a connection message. Is it right? Is it wrong? Uh, we know that in general, both on the monetary side and on the fiscal side, we can have other kind of policies, uh, more radical, we know that in general the central banks are prudent policy makers and in this case this message is, seems to me consistent with the central banking tradition in Italy and in, in Europe at large.